Welcome back to my channel. Hello if you're new. So I've been wanting to film this video for a while and I haven't had time to get around to it. And I was a little nervous that I wasn't gonna be able to film this before baby girl gets here because baby girl can be coming at any day now. It is just a waiting game at this point. So I'm really just excited, but I'm anxious to know when she's gonna get here. Every day I'm just thinking that it's going to be the day, but I have had my hospital bag packed for a while I just have this big duffel bag which I'm in love with my mother-in-law got this for me for my birthday and I'm obsessed with it it's like the most beautiful like purple color with pink trimming I'm not sure if she got it from Amazon I will try to find it and link it down below and ask her because it is just such a good duffel bag and then on this side I also have baby girls stuff packed in this backpack. My husband's also gonna have a little bag of his own where he's gonna have some stuff and he's gonna also have some snacks for us and all of that and yeah, but I'm just gonna go through my bag and I'll also go through baby girl's bag and what I am bringing for her. I am from Toronto, Ontario and in our hospital they do tell you to bring quite a bit of stuff. They don't really provide a lot, especially for baby. They don't even provide diapers here so I had to make sure I have all my things for her so now I'm just gonna go in and start I guess with my bag and then I will go with baby girl so comment down below what you think I should add or what was useful for you when you went to the hospital let me know because I am a first-time mom so I'm definitely probably going to overpack because I'm just an overpacker in general obviously your first time you don't really know what you're getting into so I'm sure when I have a second baby that it's gonna be a little bit different and I'll know which things I ended up using if you guys want to know what I end up using I could definitely do another video after baby girl is here so I'm gonna start first with the first compartment which is here and this is all kind of like the clothing and stuff so first of course I just have my bag full of I have a little bit of makeup which I don't really even know if I'll need that but I just have like the essentials nothing crazy and then on this side here is more of the hygiene products in here I actually really like this bag it comes in handy for traveling inside this section I just have your basics where I have my hairbrush I have deodorant a toothbrush a lot of the stuff I have in here are like little sizes travel sizes and sample sizes that I've been keeping for this moment so I do have things like shampoo and conditioner just a little sample size I have a leave-in conditioner I have even um, a little sample that I got I think this was my Sephora birthday gift where it comes with a Tatcha cleanser and moisturizer so you don't have to bring your huge products because that is just too much I also have like a body wash as well as a body moisturizer if I use it and just stuff like that I have hair ties in here I have makeup wipes I have for the girls over on the chest area a little butter I also have just like clips to get my hair away I do even have perfume I brought more just like little roll-on perfume just in case your girl starts to smell a little bit and wants to put on some perfume. So that's pretty much it. Um, and then on the top here, like I said, it's just the essentials. Don't really know if I'll end up even really putting on makeup, but just in case if I wanna get a little bit presentable, we shall see. I probably won't really care about that, to be honest. I totally recommend keeping little sample sizes and then they come convenient for traveling or when you have to go to the hospital. You don't wanna bring your big size things because that would just take so much more room. Speaking of like hygiene stuff and showers, I did go ahead and pick up these flip-flops from Amazon. These are kind of like those cloud flip-flops. They're super comfortable. I got them in a pink. They come in all different colors. Fun fact, I hate taking a shower at like new places. Even if I go to hotels, I just get really grossed out. So I need shower shoes. And these can, I can also just use them walking around. I try to get my size, but they're a little bit big, but they definitely work. Like I said, I picked these up from Amazon. And I also picked these up from Amazon, which I have like the opposite problem. Now I feel like these are a tad too small and it's a six and a half to seven, which is my size. But I picked these up from Amazon slippers because honestly I have like pretty much no more slippers. 
Um, my uh, little doggy Naxos may or may have not ruined my <laughs> slippers. So I went ahead and just picked up one from um, Amazon and I really love this like light cream color. So I have that. And then I also went ahead and just threw in a pair of fuzzy socks. These are just more thicker socks and they have like the rubber soles on the bottom so you don't slip all over. I am bringing two sets of PJs. So I went ahead and I purchased a couple sets of PJs because if you guys are like me, then you don't really have that many cute PJs. I hang around in like oversized sweatpants and t-shirts that are like five times too big. So I thought I would get some nice sets and I picked both of these up actually from Winners. So the first set is this one. It is just kind of like a cheetah print, but it's so soft and stretchy and the waistband doesn't bother my belly. Um, so I love this one and this one comes with a button up long sleeve, which I really like. So I made sure to get like PJs that have the button up because it would be a lot easier for nursing and this is just like I said so soft on the skin it's like buttery smooth and it's just so comfortable and then I also went ahead and picked up this set which is just a pair of black PJs and it just has the white trimming on the bottom so this is actually from the brand Nicole Miller but I did pick it up from winners and this is a t-shirt one so I don't know if I'll be like really cold or I want or be a little bit warm, just depends. But this one's just same kind of style, button up. I love the white and black and it just is really stretchy, super comfortable. I did get both of my PJs actually in a medium just cause I want it to still be really oversized comfortable. I don't want to feel like restricted. I don't want it to be too tight. And then the last thing I have in here is actually just a going home set. So I recently just bought this. I didn't even take the tags off, but I picked up this lounge set from H&M and I love this. It's so comfy. This is just a nice cream color and it just has the um, buttons going down. It's already oversized. I actually still got this in a size small because it is so oversized. And after I do wanna wear this sweater, I think I'm gonna wear this a lot in the winter time. It's a really nice material. It's not that itchy material sometimes you get these like lounge sets and then you feel in it's like that itchy material i can't stand that but this is just such a nice material and i love the color and then i also went ahead and bought the matching pants that are in the same like cream color i did size up on this just because i didn't know i ordered this actually online so I couldn't try it on. I don't even think it said it was in store. So I had to order it online and go in blind. And I think I saw this set on TikTok. And of course, TikTok sold me. That is going to be my going home outfit. And I may actually end up using this outfit even for if we do like a little newborn shoot. I thought the cream would look really, really nice. And then in my zipper compartment, I just have a couple nursing bras. So these are super comfortable. I think I talked about this in my pregnancy must-haves video. So if you haven't seen that video, definitely check it out. But it comes in a pack of three, I believe. Three or four, I think three. And then it also comes with these bra extenders. And these are just really comfortable and great for nursing. And they're super affordable on Amazon. And they have just really good reviews. That is the inside of the first pocket. Now I'm gonna move on to the second one, which the second one is pretty much like postpartum my recovery. I just stocked up on everything that's just gonna make me feel as comfortable as possible. So the first thing I'll show is this one because this doesn't have to do anything with postpartum, but I do have this sign that says so little, so loved, and then there's a spot for her name and birthday, and it came with this pen. So I thought I would bring it just in case I want a photo in the hospital, but I might just not end up using it and just do like a photo here in her nursery when she gets home. I thought I'd bring it just in case. Now let's move on to the actual postpartum recovery. The first thing that I feel like everyone and their mother brings to the hospital now and has such great reviews is the Freedom Mom Perry Bottle which just looks like this. They do give you one actually in the hospital. That's the one thing they do give you, but I just heard this is like best of the best when it comes to peri bottles and it's just way better than the one that they give you at the hospital. So I went ahead and brought this. Speaking of Freedom Mom, they have like really great postpartum recovery like sets and things like that. And one thing I picked up 
is the um, Freedom Mom Boy Short Brief. So it comes with eight in a pack and you can throw these out after. And these are just great for recovery after delivery. I have a few options when it comes to that. So I also did go ahead and bring pads because they don't provide any of that in the hospital that I'm going to. But I also went ahead and picked up some diapers that I found on Amazon that these are like the top rated for postpartum just because I don't really know what I'll want. So I just brought a couple options and then I also have a couple of these Freedom Mom Instant Ice Maxi Pads. And these are really great because I'm pretty sure you just crack them, you line it where your underwear is and it gives you like instant relief. You don't have to throw these in the freezer, which I thought at first you had to, but you don't. This is gonna be great for helping with relieving the pain. Speaking of relieving the pain, another one I've heard people rave about that they put kind of lined on their like pad is the Tux Personal Cleansing Pads. So I went ahead and got this and I'm gonna bring this as well. And then I just have some nursing pads. So if you have like a leaky chest, you just put these inserts and that will be great for that. So I brought a bunch of those as well. So those are pretty much all my recovery things um, for me to make it as comfortable as possible after giving birth. And these are just things that I've been seeing that are recommended. So we'll see which ones I really like and end up helping. And speaking of like, I guess being helpful, I did go ahead and pick up this portable fan. Um, I picked this up from Amazon and it's really great because you can wrap it around like the hospital bed, but then also you can use this for baby in the summer for like on the stroller if it's like a really hot day. You just turn it on, it has a few different settings and voila. <laughs> When I'm in pain or I just like I like to have cool air on me So I thought I'd probably love this even when I go to bed I love like the sound of a fan and just having a fan going so Went ahead and picked this up and then a couple more things I have is I actually have this So a lot of people use like the wooden combs, but this is pretty much essentially that it's like those It's a labor grip. So you go ahead and just like when you're having a contraction you can squeeze it so it kind of distracts your brain because it it puts pressure on your hand here kind of like digs in having a contraction you can squeeze it and then it kind of distracts you from the pain so i went ahead and got this i also have a stress ball i i'm like such a fidgeter when i'm like uncomfortable or in pain i just like having something so i thought you couldn't get go wrong with these two and just to have them just on hand just in case and then the last couple things i just have my little clip on the outside and then i just have a pen because they even required for you to bring a pen. So we got a pen. I also going to have all my documents that they require me to bring, of course, and then my phone charger. I also will be bringing a blanket and a pillow, of course, but I don't have it on hand right now. I'm just gonna bring snacks. I got my big handy dandy water. This is like um, a little Stanley Cup dupe that I picked up from winners or marshals they have at both of them definitely going to try and stay hydrated but yeah that is pretty much it in my bag i might add a couple more things but like i said let me know what you brought in your hospital bag that was really useful or what you thought wasn't useful now i'm going to move quickly on to baby girl's bag so on the outside i have the portable sound machine so i thought i would bring it there's like three different sounds so I thought I would bring that. On the inside, I just have a blanket. So this is a nice little knit um, cotton blanket. It's in pink. Like I said, they did give me a list of like things to bring. I also have a couple of swaddles just cause I don't know. This one's a Velcro one. This is like the typical swaddle. So I brought a couple of them for options in here, which is really great. This actually came with my duffel bag and it's super useful and I just added all her clothes. I added um, sleepers. They wanted you to bring at least three. Um, I also have her going home outfit and some accessories like hats and um, mitts and just like little things like that. So I rolled it up and put it in here. At first I just had it rolled and thrown in. So much better to have these little compartments. That's everything in the first 
section. The second section is kind of like more the essentials. So they require us to bring diapers. So I went ahead and just brought a bunch of newborn diapers. I also went ahead and brought wipes. So I just brought a pack of the wipes. I know we won't use that many. I brought a few burp cloths. Then I went ahead and even brought her little electric a nail filer just in case and I also did bring some pacifiers don't really know if I'll use these right away but I just thought I would bring it just in case just to have so I just have this one this is actually an itsy ritzy pacifier and I went ahead and sanitized and washed everything and this is just the little pacifier container and then I did go ahead and bring some diaper balm just in case this is the Earth Mama Baby Organic Diaper Balm. But that is everything I have for baby girl. But like I said, like everyone's hospital I know is different. I know like watching TikToks, a lot of the times hospitals do provide like diapers and all that kind of stuff. When I watch TikTok, a lot of, of the TikTokers that I watched that were from America, it was different for Canadians. That is my entire hospital bag. Um, hopefully I can have time to edit this and put this up, but that's everything. I hope you guys enjoyed. Don't forget to click the subscribe button and my family is about to be a family of three plus one for a baby, of course. It is just so exciting and I can't wait to finally meet her. I can't believe I'm even at the finish line and we're about to meet her any day, any minute. So that's super exciting. I can't wait to see how she is, well, who she looks like. I'm just so excited finally to be here because your girl's getting quite big and it's getting quite hard to move at this point. <laughs> I love you guys so, so much, but I'll talk to you guys in my next video. Bye.